All right. Uh, first, bring up Lightroom. And then you're going to uh, be here in your library. Choose your photo. And here I chose a photo with a lot of gray in the back. And we're going to try to get rid of that gray. Uh, we're going to do that first, I guess, here. Uh, and you're going to do that right here where it says basic. Make sure that it says basic right here. And you're under that. Because if you're in the brush tool, it looks just like that. Because you have the same type of presets. So you want to unselect the brush and make sure it says basic. And it drops down. And you come over here to this exposure, and you can just grab that exposure and bring it up. But you don't want to bring up too much, especially with like her skin and stuff. Like I really, whenever I mess with the exposure, it uh, flows out her skin a little bit. So I need to probably mess with the contrast and bring back that skin just a little bit, just a little bit. And I mean that's already better. And next thing I'm gonna do is maybe uh, change the whites and bring up the whites a little bit uh, but see that ends up way overdoing her skin so maybe just barely touch that uh, so after that I'm not really that happy with it because it's not completely white so I'm going to edit in Photoshop and make sure that it says edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. That way, when you send it over there, everything you did to it just now goes into the Photoshop. If you didn't have that checked, it would just send you send you to a uh, send you to Photoshop with the original copy of the photo without anything done to it. Okay, now that we have it here in. Photoshop, the first thing I want to do is go to select uh, color range. And so everything white is a selection, just like we did a mask. This is basically selecting what mask we're doing over here. Uh, and you can push this plus tool, and you're just going to add the colors you want to be in that selection. So I want to add over there, uh, right there. Now everything's selected right there. Uh, all that white and I can hit OK and now you can see with the marching ants everything that's in selection and it's okay uh, that her face is in a selection right there and a little bit of her shoulder just kind of take notes of where what's selected on her that you don't want to be selected so after you have that done you can go to this brightness and contrast uh, and you can jack up this brightness all the way and that does a pretty good job of making it completely white. Uh, so now that I have this uh, mask right here, we can uh, do a little bit of mask refining by painting the things that we don't want black. So I have black, I have, I could do a hard edge brush, I can go over here to my flow because I want to put down a lot of ink because I just want it to fill in. and right here was an area and you can see as I'm coloring that that her skin color starts to come back and it's not so blown out same thing with her eyes uh, maybe like right here just any any real real white spots on her I'm going to color in and that should get rid of that and you'll notice that on here my uh, the uh, Photoshop kind of flickers and that is because I'm not using a Mac and I'm using an XP for some odd reason this is a common issue with Photoshop okay uh, if I wanted to get those whips of, of hair I would hit control space bar and then I can tap on a place that I want to uh, zoom into I want to zoom into her hair right there and then I'll probably do like a soft edge brush uh, drop my flow down to maybe like 26 so I'm not really doing a whole lot and just kind of kind of go over it just a little bit it's going to give it a haze but the haze is better than that choppy look so it's not going to be perfect it's really hard to do hair the method I was actually taught is uh you, if you oh if you need to pan the image 
uh, you can hit spacebar and then just drag across the image and that moves you. So that's a little shortcut. But the way I was taught is to actually get a, a hair color in the pen tool and to draw little wisps of hair and like kind of do your own wisps of hair, uh, wispies. And I haven't attempted that yet. I don't know if I'd be really good at that. But this works for me. It kind of brings it back. It kind of gives it a little bit of haze. But I'm okay with that. It'll be all right. And actually, I like to usually do this around the entire body. But also, an, uh, another little trick that helps you with these like edges. Like, see how that edge is kind of nasty right there? Is I'm on this uh, this over here. I'm on this little mask, and what I can do with that mask is put a filter on it, and I can go to blur, and go to Gaussian blur, okay? And basically, that's going to mess with the edge of the mask. Uh, I hate that it's doing that right now. Okay, so you see, I messed with that Gaussian blur, and it kind of got rid of a little bit of that just by putting a little bit of blur on it. And you can just mess with this uh, dial right here, and the more it goes this way, the more it's going to cut into your image, and it's really going to suck in, the, in uh, the edge of that black. So that's what it's doing. It's just blurring the edge of the black, and you can add, it can be really minor, or it can be really severe. So I like 2.1, but I'll show you real quick all the way up, just to show you what happens. It's going to look like garbage. Okay, that's cool. See, that basically did the entire thing, like... The whole thing now is uh, blown out. So we'll go back to 2.1. 1.8 might be pretty good. See, that's pretty good. I'll just keep it there. So it just brought in that that mask a little bit to give it a little more natural look. Now I'm going to hit Control Alt and move to the left. If I move right, it zooms in. If I move left, and it's just clicking and dragging. And basically, that's it as far as uh, blowing something out. Uh, another thing that you want to do is like, you see how right here is white? Like right now, you may have uh, like a light gray or something. I don't know what color you have, but you can go to custom and well actually you need to select a custom color and make sure you're just selected, you know, in a very white spot. That way it shows the white. Uh, Another thing that you might have that I don't have right now is uh, I'm going to go to Preferences and I'm going to go to Interface. And this is going to help you uh, basically see what you're doing. See, there's a, these borders that drop shadow. You may have like a little shadow right now around the entire border of your, uh, of your image and you want to get rid of that border. That way you can really see what the white's doing because with that border I can't see exactly what's dark and what's not so I can go to shadow none and remember it's in preferences under edit so now that I can see where the bad bad spots are I can go to my original image which you should uh, basically make it a layer and uh, have a copy of it but I didn't do that to this image I should have and uh, make sure you hit alt and select the color you want to uh, use so you're choosing a super white and see that changed over there and uh, now make your brush bigger and you can just color over the image and you can just make the edges white to where they just blend right in so I'm just coloring and I can make my brush a little bigger maybe and uh, I kind of go around the outside like that and then towards the inside, even though you can't really see what's going on right here and that may look good enough, I personally like to, okay, I'm already in that, so, okay, I think it's actually good. I was in uh, probably a pretty good setting anyway. I might even drop that though and kind of do almost like a fading in, you know? It's a little bit fade. Okay, it kind of got on her. So if it if it gets on her and you're actually coloring an image, you can't just you can't just uh, paint it black or something because you're not doing a mask. So.
So uh, there's this thing over here, and what this is, is a brush undo. So it unbrushes what you brushed. So it's like an eraser tool just for the brush. You're not, uh, so there's, you're just erasing what just happened, what you just did with your brush. And that just cleans it up a little bit. Uh, and I would say that's pretty good. So we went to having a gray image to now having that. And we'll hit File, Save. And then we can go back over here to Lightroom and see what we got going on here. It might take a few minutes, a few seconds to uh, bring up. There we go. So you have a before and you have an after. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Her, her face is a little bit blown out and you can even, you know, come, you can even develop this one, you know. I, let's say I didn't like that one and I think I overexposed it. We can bring down the exposure now. Okay, I would say that's pretty good. Let me have a before and after.